Subject link level nine. Frightening phobias. Hi guys, welcome to a new episode on this channel. Today we will talk about the frightening phobias from Unit Nine Social Studies and the fear. So how about we get started? Now, fear is something we all experience every day. Like there's always somebody has a fear about. You sometimes fear about losing in a game or fear about getting killed in a game when you're not actually gonna get killed in real life. Or also having a little phobia of, I don't know, dogs being bitten, a hand bitten off by a dog, losing a hand by a dog, getting hit by a volcano, losing your hair, and getting bald, which isn't actually very embarrassing, if you ask me. But still, there's a lot of things you might think of if when you're talking about all this stuff. You know how sometimes everybody has a phobia of something, and then they have to pretty much get used to it. When they have, when they get really get used to it, they usually have to overcome it. There are two. Com- there are two com- most common types. These are two most common types of phobias. The first phobia is a social phobia, where it means that whenever you go to a place and you try to socialize with someone else, you try to make friends with someone else by wearing their headgear or something, by tricking them. But then you get pretty scared and run away. Push kid, and you run away. It just seems pretty much awful to do that. It doesn't even allow you to talk to other people, or worse, even make friends with them. Actually, talking to other people is worse. Uh, again, however, as we know about the basics of all these stuff and how filaments are glass and stuff, we now know how call phobias are caused. But then, how do we overcome them? Well, phobias can be overcome with these three steps. I will let you get and take after this Lego man. All right, so to overcome phobias, you have to list the well, list your phobia. First, think of your phobia, and then list from least to greatest. What is the f- fear? What is the scariest thing in your opinion of that phobia? Then, by the time you're done, it's gone. But other than that, you can just go to your doctor, your local doctor, and your doctor. Hello. Or to prescribe for some medicine. Prescribe for some medicine. Yum 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 yum. And that will probably get your phobia away. And so that's my advice. With proper training, with proper training, coaching, and treatment, I'll flip. Respond. You will. Your phobia will be gone. Yay! Thank you. Good advice, Lego man. And now I'm just gonna put you in the bin. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. So that is really great advice. But why do phobias develop anyway? Well, phobias develop because of one thing: amygdala, which is created by, which is created on. Which is created in the brain, and it's a chemical that allows you to make fear, which is really useful. Which is really not useful nowadays, but still, it's really useful here. It is useful. It's useful now, your day. Your brain's stupid. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. But however, adrenaline, amygdala is pretty much that's. Fear. We get fear because of the adrenal of the amygdala itself. The amygdala, because of the amygdala, we start to have pretty hard times. But now you know what causes and what causes phobias and how you can overcome them. Now go out into the world and do those things. So yeah, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did enjoy this episode, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Oh, and also, I'm thinking of starting a video series on using Lego on Legos, where you, where I create a story with Lego pieces I got in my boxes of Legos. I'm thinking about it right now. But if I get a lot of likes, if I get at least a hundred, or actually at least eighty subscribers. Then I will make a video with Legos as characters. So I hope to see you in the next episode.
See ya. Chuyển hắn. Out. Bye.